Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today, I'm going to be talking all about new drugstore blushes. I'm super excited for this video because I love blushes. I love blush, I love lipstick. Those are like my two favorite things about makeup. I just don't think I could ever have enough blushes or enough lipstick. Um, and I'm doing the kind of style video that I did with the new drugstore foundations and concealers. Um, I kind of just did a roundup comparing all of them. So that's what I'm going to do for the blushes. And I also think I'm going to do one on new sponges at the drugstore. Let me know in the comments below or by giving this video a thumbs up if that would be something you would want to see. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about some blushes. Okay, so in my drugstore foundations and concealers video, I had like the good, the bad, and the ugly. Luckily, I don't have anything in this video that I feel super strongly about to be like ugly. So I might be like the good, the bad, and like the amazing, knock my socks off type of products because I have some of those types of things, but the ugly part, I don't, which is a which is a plus. So let's go ahead and talk about the thing that is at the bottom of my list and that is the Physicians Formula Butter Blushes. I'm really bummed about this because I do love the butter bronzer. I put that in like my foolproof makeup video. Like you can pile that stuff on and you're never gonna look crazy. It's awesome. These blushes are relatively smaller than the bronzer and ooh, my computer better not go to sleep. All right, we're good. So these are smaller than the butter bronzers and I would say they are relatively the same price maybe if only like two dollars cheaper um, I will link everything below for you guys so I have plum rose which is this one and then I have natural glow so let me open these up to show you guys natural glow is a natural glow honestly this is more of like a blush topper these aren't very pigmented and I'm okay with not like a super pigmented blush because, you know, I like to just kind of be sloppy and I don't need like to use, you know, like a careful steady hand every single time I want blush. But this is like, I think that just the nature of the color, it doesn't show up too much. It's in the middle right there if you guys can see it. It's more of just a blush topper. Now they do have that same amazing like coconutty smell like the butter bronzers do. So that's Natural Glow, and then let me show you guys Plum Rose. So, I mean, the formula, it's really smooth. I, I love how smooth the actual product is. I just think the colors weren't the best choices. Um, these are the only two colors that they have out. So that's Plum Rose. I really had to, like, go in and make sure I, like, a couple times to swatch it because... The pro it just doesn't show up with just one swatch. And another thing is these don't last very long on the skin. I was kind of disappointed in the lasting power. Um, I wore these a couple times and, you know, I just was like looking in the mirror like, where's my blush? Like it's already gone. Um, and Plum Rose, it's a very like cool toned plum to where, honestly, it almost looks a little gray on the skin. So I just think, you know, Natural Glow is pretty. It's more of like a blush topper type of product, at least for my skin tone. I think if you have darker skin tones, that could be a highlight for you. Um, but this one is just a little weird. It's like a weird color to me and I'm all for like weird colored blushes, but this on my skin kind of ends up looking gray and then it just fades away really quickly. Okay, the next new thing is the Infallible Paints Blush Palette from L'Oreal. It looks like this. You are getting four different blushes in here. They're all matte. You did get a brush, but that fell out a long time ago, and I don't know where that went. So you're getting two on the ends that are pretty neutral. This one is like a neutral peachy type of color. I don't know if you really can even see that one. You're getting a more like neutral pink, and then you're getting a bright orange which is right there, and then you're getting a hot pink shade, which is right there. As you can see, those bright shades are like bright, like those two in the middle. I mean, they they are, you know, some pigmented blushes. These are good. Um, they're not my all-time favorite blushes. I, you know, I don't think they're bad. They're just not, they're not great. They're a little dry to the touch. Um, they blend out all right, but they're just, they're just okay. They're not the greatest things ever. What I'm going to mention later in the video is a lot better. Okay. 
Then I have the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. I think this was around 17, 20 bucks or something like that at Ulta. It looks like this. You are getting one, two, three, four, five mattes in here and then three shimmers. So these three are the shimmer ones and then the rest are the matte ones. I like the color range you're getting in this palette. I think it's great that you're getting a lot of different type of shades. You know, like you're getting a bright orange, a hot pink, a more like cool toned pink that's a little bit deeper, a berry, and then like a corally shade, and then a corally shade that is very glowy, which this is a little bit chalky to be honest with you. Um, it's definitely not as shimmery as like the natural glow from Physicians Formula. Um, and then you're getting this like pure gold type of color, and then this more neutral tone right there. So I don't know. I don't really like the gold or the pink one right here. They are a little bit more dry, but this one isn't bad. This one does have some shimmer in it and it's pretty soft. And then the mattes are really pretty as well. For me, I love this palette because I'm a blush junkie, but I think, you know, if you're someone that you don't need all of that, then I really, you know, I would just skip out on this. This isn't something that like everyone needs in their collection. I do like this for just, I can kind of, if I'm traveling or if I'm doing someone else's makeup, I can just kind of bring this with me and I don't have to think about anything else. So I really do like that um, because you do just get so many different shades in here. And I'm all for a matte blush. I tend to like mattes a little bit more than shimmers. That's just me though because I kind of like to add my shimmer, you know, where I want it. Um, but these are just, these are really pretty. I like them. I like the formula. They're pretty smooth. Like that color is gorgeous. And then this berry shade. They're very pigmented. They blend out really well. They do last a long time. Um, so those are like those two shades swatched out. These are really, really pretty. I really do like this. Again, I think this is just a little excessive for like the everyday person. But if you're a makeup junkie and you love blush, I think you would love this. Okay, so the next thing is my favorite like palette that was released. And this is the Maybelline Master Studio Color and Highlighting Palette. So it looks like this, you're getting three blushes and then you're getting a highlight. These two are matte blushes. This one has a little bit of a shimmer to it. And then you are getting a highlight shade. Love this. I think this is way more practical than something like this, just because you are getting three very distinct blush colors. You're getting a peach, a pink, and a plum. Like you, that's pretty much the range of what we all use. You know what I'm saying? Plus you're getting this gorgeous highlight in here, which is very, very pretty. Um, these aren't the smoothest blushes ever. I would say the NYX are a little bit more smooth than these, but I think if you're someone that doesn't want this huge palette, and if you're someone that doesn't want to spend $17, I think this is around maybe $12, $13, depending on where you buy it, um, you're getting what you need. You know what I mean? Like, you're getting enough variety, and you're getting a highlight, and this actually really surprised me because I wasn't a huge fan of the Contour Palette Maybelline release. Not a huge fan of their powder blushes. I like the Dream Bouncy blushes, but other than that, I'm like, I don't really care for anything else. So I didn't know if I was really gonna like this formula just because I typically don't from Maybelline, but I really do. These are much different than their like Fit Me blushes. This plum, gorgeous. This pink, really pretty. Peach, gorge. Love it. And then, you know, the highlight shade as well, like I showed before. I mean, really, really pretty. And like I said, this is just more practical, I think, for like the everyday person than the blush palette from NYX. Again, I love this palette, but not everyone is going to want that. I think if you want variety, but you want something that's still compact, simple, this one is for you. Okay, so the last thing is my ultimate favorite thing that I have tried as far as blushes from the drugstore. And this is if you do not want a palette at all, you just want to buy a single blush. These are the Flower Beauty Flower Pots blushes. I'm obsessed with these. You can find Flower Beauty at Walmart exclusively. This is like Drew Barrymore's line. I want to say these are around $9. So I have all four from the collection. I have Sweet Pea, which I am wearing today. It's just a really pretty, like, mauve tone. And they are all impressed with this, like, rose, you know, pattern, which is gorgeous. This one is matte. And then I have um, Peach Primrose, which is more of an true kind of, like, light orange type of shade. 
And then I have, let me wipe my hand off, Wild Rose, which is like a hot pink. This one is beautiful on the skin. It's a cool tone, hot pink. It looks gorgeous. It adds just like a nice, fresh oomph to the skin. And then this one is Warm Hibiscus. And this one is not, this is the only matte one. This is the only not matte one in the collection. So this one does have a little bit of shimmer to it. So it's this color right here. Look how gorgeous that is. It's like this peach with this gold shimmer in it. And oh my gosh, it looks so good on the skin. The orange is not so like orangey though. And the gold isn't too dark to where when I wear it, I look like weird. I love this color so much. It's just heavenly. And this formula is my ultimate favorite because it is pigmented, but it's not careful. You know, you don't have to be like super carefully when you're using it. Super carefully when you're using it. You don't have to be super careful when you're wearing it. See, blush just gets me too excited. I can't even talk. Um, really, none of these are like that. You know, they're all pretty safe to use, very beginner friendly. But these just have a little bit more not stiffness, but like not in a bad way. It's it's almost better. It's a little bit more of like a creamy type of texture, I would say, but they blend out so easily. And the best part about these is that they last all day. I could not get over it. I kept like checking in the mirror when I was wearing these and I was like, oh my gosh, it's still there. Oh my gosh, it's still there. Oh my gosh, it's still there. And it's like, I love that because I feel like blush is always the first thing to go on my face. Like blush and highlight are usually like the first things to say bye, you know, before noon. Whereas like these don't do that. They really do last a long time and I just can appreciate that because I want my makeup to look good like all day. I don't want it to look good for two hours. They barely take up any room in my drawer because of just how tiny and like compact they are. The packaging is just gorgeous. It has that rose gold. It has an embossed flower. Milani did something similar with these. Um, to these when they did their like rose powder blushes but these are just so like just oh I love them they're so so good I think they have a nice color range as well like they have something for everyone you know they have a more like muted color for someone they have like a hot pink a peach and then they have a peach with some, sh with some shimmer that's gorgeous so I just absolutely love these I think if you're not into the whole palettes if you're like girl I just need one good drugstore blush then go on down to Walmart and get yourself one of these because I think you will not be disappointed. Okay guys, that is it for my what's new at the drugstore blush type of video. The good, the bad, the absolutely amazing, which is those flower beauty ones. Um, so I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.